Hi, welcome to Senegal Dad. I'm Mark, and today we're going to continue with the garden scenes. Here you can see now the garden fences are in place, the hedges are in place, so let's give the gardens a bit more detail. Let's start putting some detail in the gardens. We'll make each one slightly different. Uh, we'll make one overgrown and the rest slightly better kept. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put some uh, borders in. So we're going to mark out where we want the borders, just using a pencil. It doesn't have to be exact, it's just a guide. And that gives us an idea of where we want to put the glue to then put the scatter on top. So I'll mark out the gardens. You can see now I've just painted on PVA glue where I've painted the borders. For the circle, I just used a coin to draw around. So now I've got some earth colour scatter. And I'll just scatter that onto the PVA glue. Just brush it in gently, applying a little pressure. It goes down into the glue. And just leave it to dry. Let's make some grass tufts for the gardens and we'll put some flowers on them as well. So here I have uh, an old metal baking tray with a piece of greaseproof paper sellotaped down. I have my Static grass applicator with some 6 mil grass in it, ready to go. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take some skewer, some of the glue, and we're just going to use PVA glue now, just to make some blobs of glue. You can see we've got some different blobs of glue now, different sizes and shapes, just to give us some variation. So we attach the grounding clip of the static grass applicator to the metal tray, making sure it's on. We hold the applicator about a centimetre above and just shake gently until they're all completely covered. the grinding clip and we just tilt the tray now you see we have some tufts and I'll just leave them to dry to put some flowers on these grass tufts now you can see I've cut the strip off to make it easier to handle I'm going to get a paintbrush and some PVA glue and just dab it on some of the taller grasses sticking out. You don't want too much. This is Woodland Scenic Flower. This is a yellow colour. So all I do now is take it upside down and just dip each one in, just gently. And there, you can see now, it looks like flowers. 
And I've got a couple of different colours, so I'll do it with different colours for the different tufts. And then we can put them in the gardens. There you can see some of the tufts now completed with their flowers from the Wooden Scenics range. They look quite good. Got reds and oranges, whites and yellows. I put them on a piece of paper. Whatever you don't use, you can tip back into the container so you can use it another time. It saves a little bit of waste. To make a small bush for the garden, we take some sea foam. Take it to the sort of size we want. Remember, these are for gardens, so they don't want to be too big. Something about that size would be nice. So here I have some acrylic spray, a brown colour. So I'm going to take this outside and spray it. There it is, sprayed with the brown. So we'll just leave that to dry. The paint is dried now. So now we're going to get some spray glue and spray it over. Very good coat. And here we have some Gage Master green leaves. We're just going to sprinkle these over. Just shake off the excess. and leave it to dry. The glue on the tree is now dry and the leaves are all stuck on. So we're going to make this look like a cherry blossom. So to do this, we're going to again get some PVA glue and paintbrush and just dab it on the tree at random. All the way around. So, and then we have some cherry blossom here, which we're going to dip in. This is just, again, pink flower mixture. And then cherry blossom. Let's start adding some detail. What I did first is I vacuumed off the excess earth colours I put down using a vacuum cleaner with a stocking over the end. This way you can actually save the material, the excess material to be used again. So just like that, and it sucks it in there and you can reuse it. I've drilled a hole here because this is where we're going to put the cherry blossom tree. So I'm going to put a, some glue on that. Good old PVA glue. Take the tree. Hold it in place while the glue dries. I use these plastic pegs just to wedge it into place. Good thing about plastic pegs is if there is any PVA glue around anywhere, it won't stick to the plastic, unlike if you used wooden pegs. Now we can take our flower tufts that we've made and we can decide where to put them in the garden. So again, we just put a a dab of glue on the back of these and just stick them down. So I'll start putting some of these around the gardens now. 
You can see the gardens now complete. The flowers added in. I put in some Metcalf paving slabs into this garden. The uh, washing line is just made up of a skewer and some matchsticks painted with a bit of thread across. And you can see we've got the cherry blossom tree in the back here. Uh, this garden's looking overgrown. What I've taken there, this is just some um, stuffing. It's come out of a pillow. Uh, tease it apart. Spray it brown, similar to the tree. And then spray it with glue and then just put some scatter and leaves over it. And then put some of the coloured flowers over on top of it. And now it looks like an overgrown bramble patch. I've also got some 12mm uh, static grass in there. Again, to give it the overgrown lawn effect. I think the gardens have turned out quite well. We just need to add a few people in some now to bring them to life. Hope you find that useful. Uh, you can experiment with those methods I've shown you there to bring any garden to life. So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.